Hey everybody, it's Patrick from One Shot Kill It Media here, and today we've got a little rapid fire review for you and a little uh, example video. We're going to be talking about the Aim Shot Laser Bore Sight, and this one is the wireless bore sight. So this operates on three small batteries. Uh, it's in the shape of a 223 or 556 casing, and uh, what we do is we basically just insert that into the chamber, it emits a laser and uh, that laser obviously goes to the actual target that you're looking at and it gets you on paper there uh, within you know just no shots at all so kind of a cool little product um, I can't remember what the the price is off the top of my head I got this one from Midway USA um, and full disclosure the first couple of these that I bought they did have some technical issues uh, the spring was busted on one of them another one just didn't work at all and then I contacted Aimshot directly and they immediately sent me a replacement. So if you have any trouble with a product from Aimshot, uh, you know, call them directly and they will have somebody take care of you as opposed to trying to run through uh, your distributor sometimes. So either way, um, you know, like I said, I wasn't too impressed at first, but finally got a working functional model here in my hands and uh, I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So let's go ahead and get started, folks. Alright folks, so first things first, the uh, aim shot laser bore sight comes in a nice little package just like this here. You've got the actual bore sight itself. This is in the size of a uh, 223 or a uh, 556 casing. Um, also comes with a little uh, plunger here to go ahead and push your batteries in or rearrange them if you need to. Uh, instruction packet right here and then we have our tiny little batteries here as well uh, that came with the device and these are a L736F battery. So L736F battery, it runs on three of these. Now I've heard overall that you can expect to get maybe about 10, 12 minutes of runtime from these three batteries. So if you do buy one of these, uh, make sure you have extras. And then also, again, this is made to just literally get you on paper and uh, to get you started. So. Uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind, and uh, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, full of batteries and then throw it in the chamber and see what we're looking at. All right, here we go, folks. All right, folks, Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media. We've got our aim shot laser bore sight. I'm going to put the batteries in there, and we're going to use that to go ahead and get the Atabal uh, Velox sighted in. It's a 1-4 to optic that's also mounted in the Atabal TPM mount. Uh, and I'm going to be using my smartphone scope mount so you can see this uh, first person how to actually use this laser bore sight. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll give you the view through the scope here. Alright, so we've got our laser on here. Batteries are in the little, uh, in the little device here. We're going to put that in the chamber. Alright, so that's in there. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start recording the, uh, the video here for us. All right, so we can see that that laser is emitting. The signal here. And I'm going to line it up so the dot, which is coming out of the bore is on the bullseye alright so we got that on there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to come down a couple clicks well more than a couple I should say Right, and it looks like we're gonna have to scoot over just a little bit as well, windage wise. Oop, wrong direction. All right, there we go. So that should be just enough to get us on the paper here for our target and uh, then from there I can make any sort of other adjustments that I actually need to uh, to get this thing rolling where I want it so I'll go ahead and uh, give it a shot here and just see where we end up and then uh, we'll go from there 
All right, folks, so we've got the Adaball Velox 1 to 4 by 24 scope laser bore sighted using the aim shot laser bore sight. I'm going to remove that bore sight. There we go. So we've got that out. And now that's that. Now that this is out, I'm going to take the batteries out as well so I don't waste all my batteries. There we go. There's no on or off switch on these. All right, so next up what we're going to do, we've got a couple rounds here in my Lancer mag. I'm going to go ahead and load that up, and we're just going to test and see where that bore sight got us initially here. And I'm going to continue using my smartphone scope mount here, just so you can go ahead and get a view of what we're looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and fire that up. All right, we're up and running. Okay, here we go. And let's just get on target here and we'll see where we end up. All right. And I'm going to go take a look and see where that first shot ended up for us. Alright, so we're on paper and we're a little high and to the left. So it got us on paper like it's supposed to do, so the, uh, the aim shot laser bore sight did its job there. And now it's up to me to go ahead and tighten it up. So I'm going to remove my smartphone scope mount so I can actually get right up on the scope, see the reticle, and see what adjustments I need to make. So I have my adjustments made. I'm gonna fire off a quick test shot and just see where we're at. All right. So we're very, very close now at this point. Um, we are just about, looks like, an inch high and left. One more test shot, see where we end up. Oh, must have overcorrected there a little bit. A few more adjustments, let's see where we are. On the outer ring of the bullseye. So we just need a slight adjustment here. Let's see where we are. All right, there we go. In the bullseye now. Let's do one more shot just to verify. That's exactly where we need it. So we've got our Adaball scope sighted in. It's in the TPM mount, and we used our aim shot laser bore sight to get us on paper to start with. So looks like it went ahead and did the job that we needed it to. Um, again, this is something where it's, it's not gonna provide pinpoint precision right away, but it'll save you a little bit of messing around, especially if you're further out on your target. So nice little product there from aim shot, and uh, Happy to see what else we can do here with this Adaball scope remounted into the uh, tactical precision mount made by Adaball as well. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.